Hi, Rosie Dalton here, and I'm with you today so that I could give you some tips and strategies to have a little more calmness in your life, a little more peace in your heart. Times are pretty crazy, and everyone's doing the best they can to navigate it in their own way. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong, even though it may feel that way. It does to me sometimes too. But today, it's about having peace, staying in your own lane, and enjoying life a little more. So what I recommend is starting in the morning, even before you get out of bed, just take inventory of your body. See if there's any aches or pains, um, or if you're anxious or anything like that, and send love, send love to those places in your body or in your mind or in your heart and send divine love. Now that's the most powerful of all, divine love. What could be better? And so send that through your body and just let it settle and then think of three things that you're grateful for. Just three. You could do five, you could do ten. Some days it's hard to uh, even come up with three, but it's still a beautiful life and we're lucky to be here. So that's where I begin. I take stock. I might breathe in and out through my nose several times, just in and out, and that engages the parasympathetic nervous system. So that's a nice way to start the day. And then when you get out of bed, you head down, you have your coffee, your tea, or whatever, maybe just jot something down that would give you joy during the day, one thing one thing that would give you joy. So for me, something that would give me joy is usually the people I talk to, um, the people I'm able to be with, doing my social distancing, but also loving them and interacting with them. I think that's so important. You can social distance and do this as well. So one thing that can bring you joy, I mean, it could be just as great as, I don't know, putting on a new nail polish, putting on lipstick, you know, having a great cup of coffee or tea, or giving someone a phone call. But I think it's great to institute what you're going to do during your day. So I oftentimes write down, okay, this is what I'm doing this morning, this is what I'm doing this afternoon, and this is how I'm going to wind down. So my energy, you know, my own rhythm around 2.30 or 3 every day, I find a dip. So that means I'm going to be a little more quiet, I'll probably read, and um, just take care of myself. And that's what I'm urging you to do, to take care of yourself, to honor what's going on with you, and finding wherever you can peace. All right, so that's the people who are around you, the people you speak with, the things you watch. You know, something you may consider, it's something I do, is to stop watching the news. The news is designed to scare you, and it's designed for you to keep tuning in to make sure you're safe. Well, instead of looking out there to see if you're safe, look in here. Make safety in here. A nice thing to do before bed is the I am's. So this is what I do at night. I say these following things. I am safe. I am protected. I am wisdom. I am love. Now you can say I am anything and that is your hookup with the divine. I am. That is how you hook up with God. So that to me at night kind of sets up my next day. So it's something that you might consider and um, I will be coming back with more tips and strategies um, for your body, for your mind. Now at one point I was a hypnotherapist. I mostly worked with end-stage cancer patients, but I also worked with people to have peace and to cultivate joy. So we've forgotten about joy and we all need that and maybe a little bit of chocolate. So thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you again. Sending love to you all.